And I'm Colby. And I'm Dylan. And we're from Cersei High School and Mr. Safley's Ag Class. And we're here to teach y'all today about MIG welding safety. And so the dangers of MIG welding um, could be anywhere from flash burns, from not having the proper PPE or personal protection equipment on. Um, could result in um, sparks from the welding process coming back onto the welder's hands, face, or body. And also the, the fumes given off to the welding process can also be harmful to the welder and create uh, welding fume fever and the various other lung issues. So there are lots of dangers, however, the use of personal protection equipment, you can minimize those dangers. I think any welder that works in the welding industry or process is probably going to encounter a few minor incidents. Uh, but I'm glad to say in our shop we've not had anything beyond a few minor burns, uh, maybe some sparks down some shirts or gloves or whatnot. But we, we follow safety here. Uh, it is first and foremost because we want to minimize those, those injuries from welding. These are safety glasses, always good to use in the shop. Uh, Rotor's helmet with shade tan lens. Shade tan lens. Uh, gloves. Protect your hands while you're welding. Nozzle gel. And a uh, pair of ice grips to pick up hot metal. Rotor's cap so you can uh, weld overhead without burning your hair. So the welder's jacket, you don't need to wear short sleeves, long sleeves is the way to go. If you don't want to wear that, it's just a uh, sleeve. What we're gonna have, this is what we're going to learn to operate safely today. First thing you need to do is you check your leads for abrasions or anything that might could be an abrasion. Uh, Next thing you need to do, come over here, grab your plug in, plug it in over here. Make sure it's in good and secure, that way nothing gets up in there and fry the coast. And after you do this, make sure it's free of debris or anything that could obstruct or mess with the cord while you're welding. I'm going to pull it to the ground here so nobody trips on it. Next thing you need to do is come over here, take your ground. It won't be on this, but if you're welding on something and it's painted or rusted, you grind it off, that way it gets a good positive connection and the welder will actually work. And this right here is your welding gun. The filler uh, metal will come out, of, come out of the machine through the hose and up here to what you're welding on. And in that case, it seems to be straight to prevent prevent it from hanging up in the hose somehow so you get all the slack out of it the welds don't need to be right upon you. Next thing we need to do, go up here, turn the power on. You're ready to weld that to pull down your oil Careful when you're putting up the gun, 
As you can see, proper safety and safety equipment is vital while MIG welding. I'm Dylan. I'm Colby. I'm Alexis. We hope our video has been very helpful.